Almighty God and Heavenly Father, we are standing, Lord, before you, O God, as we enter your courts of praise, as we enter your joy this morning, Lord, as we enter the praises of the Almighty God, we have no ability of ourselves, Father, but we are completely depending on you this morning, O God, and for the rest of the coming week, O God. Yere as that I will us, Yere, will I give for more as I dienst knech, Yere. Laat ons toe, Yere, Father, om hierdie week weer as a, as a, that we as a group of people, Father, as we as we join forces, Lord, I pray, O oh God, may you allow us, allow us by your grace, Lord, to be able, Lord, to, to speak and to encourage one another. As the fellas here, let us to us believe, here is the week, om a groot sening, here for mekaar te wees. Lord, if it's your will, Allow us to be a blessing this coming week, Lord, for one another. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Goeiemorgen, broers and sisters. It is a wonderful privilege. Ek is so dankbaar vir morgen om u te groet in the lieflijke naam van onze Heer Jesus Christus. I want to greet you all this morning in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I, I, I just wish I had more time to be able to speak to you, amen, to express, hallelujah, how, how we feel, praise the name of the Lord. But we want to say shalom, we want to say God bless you. Ons bid die sieninge van die Heere. We pray the blessings of the Almighty God upon your life. And I want to say before we read the word, I want to just start off by saying this. Whatever you need for this next few days, wat ook al jy nodig het vir die volgende paar dae, my broer en sister, I might not know your situation. I might not know what you are going through. But I want to tell you this morning, as God's servant, that the year live, that God is alive. And remember that God knows us all. He knows us better than what we know ourselves. The year is still in the bezigheid Om gebedens te beantwoord. God is still in the business. Hallelujah to answer. Answer our prayer. Vat God hierdie week op sy woord. If you have failed him last week. If you have done. Amen. Him wrong last week. Praise the name of the Lord. Come in for more. Just enter. Enter his courts. With praises and respect hallelujah and with great reverence and just rededicate your life amen to the Lord Jesus Christ my brother and sister I wonder this morning if you can turn the pages of the Bible with me this morning we have we have a wonderful inspiration for the next few days we would like to speak on, we want to start off and just lay, just a little platform. Ons wil die allemaal gemakkelijk maak, broers en sisters. We had a wonderful weekend. We had a tremendous time. We are still feasting on the devotion that we had for the last two weeks, whereby we spoke on the foundation, hallelujah, the importance of making sure that we are building on the right foundation and also that we should realize that the impact, hallelujah, when we don't start right, hallelujah, like we said 
We don't have time now to fix cracks, but we want to get straight to the bottom of the problem. Hallelujah. And I want to say this morning, as a servant of God, may God help us. Hallelujah. Tell your brother next to you. Tell your sister. Tell your wife. Tell your husband. Tell your children. Be open to your family. Tell them we have to start right. This is 20. 21, we have failed him last year. We started wrong last year. But tell him, tell your family that this is the year. Hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. Where we desire to start right, hallelujah. Whatever you want to start, whatever you want to start, praise the name of the Lord. Start it the right way so that you don't need to patch it up. Half way through your journey of your Christian walk. Hallelujah. We don't have time to patch up things. Hallelujah. We, we have to start right. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is the best way. It might cost you friends. It might cost you your neighbors. It might cost you, hallelujah, people around you. But what is important is that we as a body of God, we have to take a clear-cut decision and we have to decide hallelujah to start right hallelujah don't be influenced by nothing by any doctrine or dogma or creed or don't be influenced by any hallelujah anything that is contrary to the bible and to the word of god hallelujah make sure that you do it the bible way hallelujah we will read one of the oldest books in the Bible and we will read about a man, hallelujah, that was so, that was tested. And we would like to speak on the attitude of an overcomer. The gesundheid van a ware oorkommer. Oh yes, brothers and sisters, I feel to preach the whole morning for you. Amen, hallelujah. The, the, the attitude, the gesundheid, praise the name of the Heer, of a true overcomer. And we are going to read together in the book of Job 1. We would like to lay a platform. Let's read in the book of John, uh, sorry, Job chapter 1 this morning. This is the word, hallelujah. Let's read Job chapter 1. Let's read from verse 7. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered and said, Lord, and said from the going to the to the going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it all. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? And I want to say this morning, make this scripture very personal. Have you considered my servant, Brother Nicholas? Have you considered my servant, Brother David? Have you considered my servant, Brother Matthew? Have you considered my daughter, Sister Elizabeth? Have you considered my, 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 my sister, Sister Rachel? Have you considered? Let's make this few verses very personal brothers and sisters the lord asked the, the satan have you considered my servant hallelujah job that there is none like him oh god help us that as me man was job me the year of for the devil had ye alle gedachte gehad rondom my dienstknecht Jy sê nou vir my, jy was op en af in die wereld, op en af, praise die naam van die Heere. You know, this is so, amen, we're talking about the attitude of a true overcomer, an overcomer, die gesintheid van a ware oorkommer. Then the Heere, the Lord, they, they, did you, you've been walking up and down, have you ever considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in 
in the earth. Oh God, help us this morning. A perfect look at the reference. Look at the look at the CV. How can I say? It? Look at the Hallelujah. Kijk naar God ze 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 eet beelden van Job. Hallelujah. Die 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 eet slag. God laat die devil verstaan. God, Amen. How can I say it? God let the devil understand who this man Job is. He says he's an upright man. He's perfect and an upright man. One that fear God and as what evil. God for tell the devil, we hear him man drop us. God is telling the devil, Satan, who this man Job is. But before God telling this, telling Satan, who this man Job is, God asked him a question. Have you ever considered my servant Job? Then Satan answered and said, Lord, and said, Do Job fear God? For not has not thou made an edge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side? Thou has blessed the work of his hands. Ah, what was the devil? The devil said, I have the work of his hands. Listen to the listen to the words of Satan. He says, Lord, thou has blessed the works of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he had, and he will curse thee to thy face. Look at this conversation. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he had is in thy power, Satan. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And the Bible says, And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in the eldest brother's house. And this is where we would like to continue. The year had no money in Fiat. A, 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 a weldige gesprek gehad rondom sy dienstknig job. I wonder this morning, brothers and sisters, isn't God busy to consult with Satan concerning your position right now on the face of the earth? Don't you think this morning that God is right now at this moment Consulting with Satan. Hallelujah. Have you ever considered my servant? Hallelujah. Down in Port Elizabeth, in Cape Town, hallelujah, in Europe, in America, in New Zealand, in Australia. Have you considered? And I want to just close off before we just, before we go. Amen. Hallelujah. Too far. I, I, I'm trying to bring it just slowly because I would really love to take my time because this is a devotion. This is a platform that God has allowed us to have to encourage you, my brothers and sisters. And this is what we want to continue with, is to continue to encourage you. And, and this week, we will talk about Hallelujah, the attitude of an overcomer. Ye is a overcomer, hallelujah. An overcomer, what is an overcomer? It is someone who prevails. If, if we are going to rise above hardships, we face. And that is what we just, we put a few things. I wrote a few things down here. Praise the name of the Lord. What is an overcomer? It is someone that prevails. It's someone, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord, that, that continues, that persevere, hallelujah, that doesn't care what the devil brings to him, but it is someone that has made up their mind that whatever comes, I am going to overcome whatever the devil is trying to bring and whatever Satan is trying to come
I'm up with, I have made up my mind, hallelujah, to serve God, then I'm not going to quit. I am not going to turn back. I am not going to deny the word of God. I'm going to stand solidly, flat on my feet, and I'm going to serve God in spite of the challenges and the testings that are coming my way. And that is what we want to bring to you this morning and the rest of the days, hallelujah. What is, who are you, hallelujah? V.S.J. for more. Look into the mirror and ask yourself, who am I this morning? And tell yourself this morning that I am an overcomer. I, I don't care what Satan is trying to bring to me this week, but I am an overcomer. Hallelujah. I can say we're winner with Christ and Jesus and my country. Hallelujah. I am an overcomer with Christ Jesus on my side. Hallelujah. Would it too loud that the devil for you say that he's a soccer lung? Don't allow the enemy to tell you that you are too weak to overcome, that you are too weak and that you are, hallelujah, too weak to overcome. God knows, hallelujah, that you are able to overcome. That's why we said, hallelujah, imagine right now, God is asking the, the devil, have you considered my servant? Lord Jesus, thank you for the trust that you have in us. That you can consult with the enemy concerning our position. Bless us this week, O oh God. In Jesus' name, amen.